Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you are a subscriber of this channel, then you already know Celestron is the company that offers a wide variety of telescopes from beginner to advanced levels of the astronomer. In the previous videos, we have seen many different series of telescopes from Celestron. There's one more series of Celestron known as Celestron Inspire. Today we will see the details of the telescopes offered in this series. The telescopes in this series are aimed at the beginner to intermediate levels of astronomers. In this series of Celestron Inspire, Celestron has packed up lots of features that are never seen on entry-level telescopes. They will be helpful for beginner to intermediate levels of the astronomer. There are three telescopes in this series. All of them are refractor type telescopes. One of the biggest plus points of Celestron Inspire is it has an inbuilt phone adapter to take photos of the celestial objects you are observing. The telescope in this series comes with an erect image star diagonal, a red LED flashlight, a red dot finder scope. The telescope has a focus micrometer so that it's easy to return to the same focus point when you get diverted with something. The first telescope in the series is Celestron Inspire 70AZ. This is a refractor type telescope. It has an aperture of 70mm and a focal length of 700mm. Its focal ratio is 10. It comes with two eyepieces, one is 20 millimeters and the other is 10 millimeters. The highest useful magnification of this telescope is 165 times and the lowest useful magnification is 10 times. It is a great beginner telescope. The optics of this telescope is great. This telescope is lightweight and good for portability. With this telescope, you can see details of the moon, Saturn, and you'll be able to distinguish between Saturn and its rings. You'll also be able to see Jupiter and its moon. The second telescope in this series is Celestron Inspire 80AZ. It is a refractor type telescope. It has an aperture of 80 millimeters and a focal length of 900 millimeters. Its focal ratio is 11. This one also comes with two eyepieces. One is 20 millimeters and the other is 10 millimeters. The highest useful magnification of the telescope is 189 times and the lowest useful magnification is 11 times. The weight of the telescope is 16.98 pounds. This 80AZ model has the longest focal length of 900 millimeters, so that's why it has a narrow field of view and good magnification. Because of the longer focal length, there are very few color inaccuracies with this telescope. Also, the lenses are coated well on Inspire series telescopes so you get sharp images. This telescope is good for observing the moon and planets. With this telescope, you'll be able to see details of the moon, moons of Jupiter, and rings of Saturn. The third telescope in this series is Celestron Inspire 100AZ. It is a refractor type telescope. It has an aperture of 100 millimeters and a focal length of 660 millimeters. The focal ratio of this telescope is 6.5. It also comes with the same two eyepieces as the previous models. The highest useful magnification of the telescope is 241 times and the lowest useful magnification is 15 times. This telescope leans more towards the intermediate type of astronomers. This is the top model in this series and it has the shortest focal length and a wide field of view which is mostly good for observing brighter deep space objects. The Inspire 100AZ uses a achromatic refractor lens, which is fully coated, meaning it'll be able to provide a crisp and detailed view of space while decreasing issues with aberration. With this telescope, you'll be able to see craters on the moon in great detail. The bigger planets in our solar system, such as Jupiter, Saturn, will look good through this telescope. When it comes to deep space, you can easily see the brighter deep space objects with this telescope. Overall, the optical performance of Inspire 100AZ is pretty good. It provides impressive planetary and average deep space performance. This telescope is powerful enough to spark your astronomical curiosity. Now, which one should you buy? If you are an absolute beginner and just want to start with stargazing, then buying any of the 70AZ or 80AZ models is good for you. They have excellent optics and give the awesome result. If you are interested in observing deep space objects, then 100AZ is for you. But if you're looking for deep space observation, then there is a possibility that you outrun this 4-inch model very quickly. So if your budget allows you, then you should consider buying a bigger aperture telescope such as the Nexstar 6SE. If you don't have the budget, then 100AZ is also good for getting started with deep space stargazing. I hope this video helped you to understand the telescope in the Celestron Inspire series to make a better buying decision. If it did, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content.